to, you know, to invest in it too. Question, when is the right time to do that though? For a man? When it's the, uh, for a man, I, well, you guys, you have instincts. You can use them too. Like you can tell when a woman is like ready to hold space for you and, and be able to, you know. Go ahead. But realistically, how can you build a meaningful bond with somebody if you're not vulnerable with them? Like eventually at some point. I think men should not be vulnerable with women. Ever? I think that's the difference between the two genders is being vulnerable with a woman or with a woman as a man will set you up for failure. What? I think well, it will get you guys closer no. together. I think that's why suicide rates for men are high. Mm. But I mean Well, okay. Um hmm. let's Tw see here. Twitch? A vulnerable man is attractive. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we could go ahead and kill Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, because uh Come YouTube. And, and I'll let the ladies say their point. Somebody was saying something about a vulnerable man is attractive. Yes. Sorry? Okay, sure. Why do you why do you say that? Because if you're able to open up and talk about your feelings, emotions, thoughts, inspiration, aspirations to me and share them with me, then you know, I see that there is like more value in it and I would like to, you know, to invest in it too. Question when is the right time to do that though? For a man when it's the uh, for a man i well you guys you have instincts you can use them too like you can tell when a woman is like ready to hold space for you and and be able to you know to to be there to give listen. us a sign just tell us when we should maybe do it when you feel I guess comfortable when, no no let her answer it i guess when you when you have a meaningful conversation with each other maybe it's a time to to like open up a little bit is what? it when you decide to be just exclusive? Is that when? Like, no, or do you, does that conversation still happen? Like, do you still say, like, okay, I'm going to be exclusive with just you? And then, like, open up? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think, I don't think he has to be like that. Like, listen, you, you got to feel the, the vibe. You can't, like... See, here's, here's the problem, right? Us as guys, vibe, we don't know when is the right time. It could be the wrong time the whole time. I'm just saying, as a guy... Why would I put myself in that situation when I don't know the outcome of it? It's like, okay. Because you guys do that all the time. What do you mean? So do you, what do you mean? You guys put yourself in situations that you don't know what the outcome of it. This is a, this is a masculine no, when it, trait. When it comes to dating, right, with you, let's say I want to be with you long term. And then I open up to you. You say, oh, that's kind of cringe. It's kind of weird. But I don't know when it's the right time. Why even risk it? Well, you'll never know if you never risk it. And guess what happens to it? If I never do it, I'm still good. I'm well, very... Uh, yes, you're still good, but then you'll never have the opportunity of experiencing true love and, and deep bond and, and something that is meaningful. You have to take the chance of getting hurt and open up. Getting hurt? So getting yes. hurt, getting hurt it, and that's, true lover that's are, what, the, are synonymous? No, but that's what he showed, like he presented to as like, oh, if I'm not going to open up, then I'll protect myself. Then I'm not going to like, it's it's just, you know, I'm I'm not going to be giving up too much of myself and i'm not gonna be sharing so it means that like i can walk away and and you know and so you're good. saying basically in a nutshell being vulnerable opens you up to you know emotions and a deeper connection with an individual yeah yeah getting to know them better would it be fair to say that that's how women build an emotional connection versus men it might be a little bit different Ooh. we might not necessarily yes. need the same level of emotional connection through vulnerability that women do 100%. absolutely we're building oh, no, stop right there we're built different. You said that from the female perspective. Yeah. But I told you from the male perspective, it doesn't operate that way. Because you're speaking from a limited perspective as a woman, mm -hmm. not from a man. You're saying what you would like to be able to do, etc. And you're hoping that it's a mirror image on the male side. Scientifically, we're different. Okay. So it doesn't matter the perspective. It's just proven. Like No, it absolutely matters the perspective yeah. because you're giving a female perspective on how vulnerability enhances emotions and a deeper connection. But what I'm saying... For a man, it might not necessarily be that way. So you for a woman, me, it is, but not for a man. So you're telling me a, a man doesn't want to be heard? A man doesn't want to be feel like someone cares about him? A man doesn't want to put his head on someone's shoulder when he's going through hard times? I think, um, I think what you're saying is being able to put a head on a shoulder and be vulnerable, etc. Though a woman is capable of providing that comfort, I think a safer way to go about getting that comfort and being vulnerable is through another man who experiences the same issues and problems and dilemmas that you do from the male experience because you just admitted by yourself that men and women are different and we experience different problems based on our gender so 
wouldn't it be kind of foolish for me to go ahead and provide my masculine problems to an individual who's not qualified to handle my masculine problems? And as a matter of fact, that individual is relying on me to be a leader, to be dominant, to take her through life. And then I'm going ahead and showing vulnerability and I'm not really sure where we stand right now. I would argue it's better for the guy to go to a man that understands his perspective versus a woman who doesn't understand that perspective. What you just described of being vulnerable and being able to connect on a deep and emotional level, that's a female way of falling in love. Men typically don't fall in love like that. Men love women for acts of service. Men love women that are submissive, that are that fall in line, that don't give them a headache, that give them peace. I think women want to be able to open up to their man and get that stability. But for men to open up to a woman, she's not necessarily capable of the same stability because men and women aren't the same and women aren't leaders. So I would say it's probably going to lead to self-destruction opening up to your woman because women aren't built to lead men and be stoic and emotional rocks in times of hard uh, turmoil. Facts. Right, but you opening up to a woman doesn't mean that like you give up, you know, your leadership. It's yeah, but what you're doing is you're forfeiting it for a, a period of time. And every woman has different levels of acceptance of you terminating that leadership. So, for example, some women might be able to tolerate you being a pussy and saying, I don't know where we stand right now. Oh, my God. But other women might be cutthroat and be like, what the fuck? You're soft. No, I'm good. And they'll get turned off by that. So why take the risk? Because you should know who you're with. It's th should it be a risk if you know who you're with? Like, so it's a risk. Huh? Okay. But the thing is, is that you don't, you won't know unless you open up. For example, right? They've done, they've done um, studies on this and they've seen like women react to this. Women that are typically in relationships with guys that are fighters, right? They like the guy. They're attracted to him because he's a fighter, etc. But if they go to one of his fights and they watch him get beat up, a lot of women have lost attraction to their man by watching him get beat up. It's a visceral, carnal thing to watch a man get beat up because what he's effectively establishing right in front of you, even though he's fighting another professional fighter, is he might not be capable of protecting you. And that go ahead and trigger certain things in your mind, in your in your monkey brain. Whoa, this guy is not a protector. A protector. Can you still provide for me? Blah, blah, blah. And women lose attraction for men. So what I'm saying is that just in a way that women can lose attraction within an instant of watching their man get beat up, they can also lose attraction within an instant of him crying and trying to, you know, get consolation from her. You won't know until it happens is my argument. Does that make sense? No, it makes sense. Yes, um, um, I don't think we should look at that as a weakness when a man opens up. Um, okay. you, as a man, you should only open up to somebody you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know where you stand with your woman, obviously you should not be opening up to her. Let's rewind real quick. What did you say a second ago? You said... Women should, right? Not look at it that way. We should. I said we, women, women, is... women, and men. I feel like men see opening up and um, being vulnerable as a weakness, but I see it as a sign of strength because I know that for men it's hard to open up. But you used a key word One, earlier. You said should. Should what? And and that's you said we shouldn't look at like look at it like that. And I and I agree. I wish it wasn't like that, but. You know, I tend to operate in reality and should isn't necessarily a word in reality. Women typically tend to look down on men that look to them for some type of, that are vulnerable with them on a consistent basis. I don't know women who, who look down on that. I, I feel like um, in my in my circles, um, though, like women see that as a sign of strength because that means you're you're emotionally um, intelligent. I'm curious. Yeah, but the thing, wait, hold, hold, on, on. hold on, hold on. But women want vulnerable. This is the problem that, that that I've come to realize with women talking about this. Y'all want vulnerability on your terms, and what I'm trying to argue is that vulnerability doesn't come on terms. It's not like it's an agreement. Okay, you can be vulnerable Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Okay, <laughs> uh, for five minutes at a time, etc. You guys are saying it if it comes in certain terms. The problem with vulnerability and emotional volatility and hard times, etc., is it comes in spurts and it could be, you know, nice and sunny one second and then raining, pouring another second. And there's no necessarily terms when it comes. It's raw. You don't know how you're going to react to it. It might lead to, you know, a visceral carnal emotion that you might not. Oh, my God. I'm watching my guy. Give me it. What the hell's going on here? And then you lose traction for him. Yeah. Right. So it's very there different. So you guys are saying, oh, it shouldn't be that way. And this is this doesn't make sense. You should be able to open up to your girl and be vulnerable. The problem is that when it does come, it's not going to come the way that you expect it. Like, baby, I had a tough time at work. But you know what? I fixed the problem. No, he might come home sobbing like a little bitch. He might be like coming back with a black eye. You don't know what the hell happened. It's going to come and rear its ugly head when you're least expecting it. And it could come in a dark time. Maybe I didn't make the bills for a month or two. And you guys are in a bad spot. Then he comes home crying, etc. It's never going to come in an optimal situation that women typically think. It's going to come in a terrible time where isn't optimal for either one of you. Do you really want to sit there and have to console a man that's responsible for protecting and providing and yes. leading you? That's a That sounds like a bitch? No. See, you could say, yes, I'd be able to it. Do doesn't it doesn't sound like a bitch to me. Okay, fantastic. I never... 
You might think that, but a majority of women will have a point of contention with that. But I, I'm that's a, my argument. Yeah, I'm actually curious. Has a guy ever been vulnerable with you? Yes, I've, I've um, had men cry in front of me before. And where that, where and are they now? Living their best life. But you're not there. But that didn't make me respect them less. Stop the cow. Oh, so it made you respect them more? Yes. Really? Stop the cow. I, I promise. Then why aren't you with them? For other reasons. Yeah. Not having anything to do with that. Who broke up with who? Um, <laughs> I mean, I always ended all of my relationships. Wow. Gotcha, bitch! But um, I'll, I'll tell you right now, like, I got cheated on. So it wasn't me who lost respect for this person and, and went and found a new man who is more masculine, doesn't cry. But One that's time, what happened. I was having this experience with this guy. He he works in a studio and he was like, I'm celibate. I don't have sex. I just want to have sex with you. And I'm like, I don't like that. I think that's weird. Uh, wait, wait. But that's not all. <laughs> he was like, oh, no, uh, I just got f- into a fight in the studio and I was fighting, you know. And for me, that was a turn off that the guy was fighting. Hmm. I didn't like him after that because I think that if he holds himself and he's like, he don't fight, I think fighting is bad, you know? That's why I like the video that Myron posted. Like, he didn't even touch the girl and that was good. Oh, on Instagram. Oh, on Instagram. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Going back I- to, to you, um, would it be fair to say that um, him being vulnerable might have been a symptom of a greater issue? For you, because you said you broke up with him, and that wasn't necessarily the main reason. But you said, that, or well, that wasn't the main reason you broke up with him. It was because of other things. But wouldn't it be fair to say that that might have been a symptom of a greater issue as to why you broke up with him in general? Because typically, when men are vulnerable, right, and soft with women, they have a bunch of other issues with their masculinity that also tie into their vulnerability. So um, I've had about three boyfriends and they all cried in front of me. Uh-huh. And so it's not a specific situation that uh-huh. I'm talking about. We broke up for different reasons. What, what was the reason? They all cried in front of you? We were close. Like when you're close with somebody, it's okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's okay. What did like, they cry about? When people go through things, it's okay to cry. What, what did they cry about? Does it matter right now? It does matter. I mean, tra- um, like childhood trauma, um, family situations like dark family situations okay mm-hmm. what what did you what made you break up with them like i said it was i was multiple situations like we we broke up for different reasons um okay. like i said i got cheated on like okay one one cheated on, on and then what was the other two that were the deal breaker um okay uh, uh we had like a violent situation um it was, he hit you no i hit him oh well we hit each other because it was a bitch if you didn't cry, his dog hit me, hit him, so that's why he hit me. What the what? His what? Hmm? It's okay. just an example. Like his his dog hit him. His dog? So, yeah, he has a trauma. Like he's gonna hit you, you because s- he got hit or something. He ha- he don't Shut have up, to hit you. Bitch. All right. Well, uh, so <laughs> like, no, no, she hit. Okay, him, yeah, you hit him. And then, exactly. And then he so hit, did he hit you back too or no? No, no, no. Okay, you hit him. Okay. Why and then what is what him? is what is the third uh, reason? Reason. So one guy you on you, one guy you're beating him up, and then the third guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, the third guy. Well, she's Russian, so I mean, I know. honestly don't remember. Yeah. It was something petty, also. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I just find just it just didn't work out. Like that they don't... all cried in front of you, and then eventually you broke up with them for another reason or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But you all broke up with all three of them, and you hit him. God damn, and you hit him too. <laughs> but listen, show... th- things happen. I was like, I was nineteen. But can, can I ask you a question? Doesn't show a pattern of like <laughs> bad, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, that didn't help her case. Okay, I'm not proud of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro. Did yeah. your dad? Did your dad ever cry in front of you? Um, did you so ever see your dad? Cry? I actually don't have a relationship with my father. I okay. mean, I've seen my dad cry, but like my grandma passed away. Emotional, so like, damn right, right, right. Like, death is different. Like my man, he's cried like his best friend passed away like the day of his like game like so that's different like i feel like a death like this is understandable but like my man also told me if he's ever going through shit he would never let me know because it's his job as a man to just get through the shit so it's like yeah. but don't you want to be that person no nope, i'm for for you for your man no like, i am that person there? for him if he wants there? to come and talk to me he can but if not and i'm like that person who hits him 
I don't hit him. I would okay. never hit him. I think this is another perfect example of like wanting to be transparent when it comes to cheating and having other women. Women want you to be transparent with your emotions once again for self-interest to be able to establish if you're really that guy if you're a tough guy you can lead me etc and if you are sitting there crying in the back of her mind she's like all right i got you right now but man if we ever get in a fight or if i ever want to break up with you man you are a bitch i can leave you yeah because you definitely felt memory. like you definitely felt like he was a bitch for you to hit him because if you didn't feel like that about him yeah. you would never lead a hand on him i that's promise right, you. Yeah. every guy i've ever been with there's only one guy i was ever with and i did put my hands on him and guess, no, I was I was seventeen, but guess what? I did think he was a bitch. Well, I, I actually know her personally, and she's actually like, I don't think you have to be a bitch if she her anger is good. <laughs> no cap. You're if her right. anger does get her, like if her emotions get the better of her, she will put her hands on you. That's a problem. But that, yeah, that's a problem with me. It's not, not a problem no, with the person. Me, I'm saying, but if like, it was a guy that you were that you knew for a fact would deck the shit out of you, you would not put your hands on. You wouldn't do it. You would not do it. If he was six six, so two fifty, you're gonna seven. Get... I don't do things like that anymore. But I'm saying, if he was six six, two fifty, you would never do it in the first place. Maybe, maybe you're right. It was a man. Well, she's Russian, so I mean, she's but kinda... I take responsibility for that. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I don't want to call this person a bitch, and that's why I hit him. But I think the problem was with me because I didn't know how to express my feelings and um i think that's even more reason to not open up to you and be vulnerable <laughs> they might get punched. <laughs> <laughs> we can conclude you know what i mean like, yeah. uh, like women that and here's the thing too you made an argument earlier i wrote this down that women can be both masculine and feminine mm -hmm. when women are you know selectively choosing when they want to be found into masculine etc that means as a man you have to be hyper masculine and being vulnerable is probably one of the softest and pussiest things you can do it's a feminine characteristic to open up to females in my eyes so i don't i don't think especially with a female like you that kind of picks and chooses when they want to be a lady or, or masculine i would say it's even more dangerous for them to be vulnerable with a female like you mm -hmm. i disagree why do you disagree um would your prior relationships not kind of prove my point because actions speak louder than words that so you punish honestly, every guy that's been vulnerable with you so I've learned breakup? a lot from my previous relationships. Okay. I'm not proud of the mistakes that I made in those relationships. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't judge like what happened in those relationships and like make conclusions about what I think of things right now. That I mean, makes, you're saying it's okay for sense. men to be vulnerable with you, but the record shows that every man that's been vulnerable with you has suffered a consequence of losing you. Oh, black eye. Not because <laughs> they were vulnerable with me because but that's what things. i said before i think that was a symptom of a greater issue probably all right um uh, just some just to point out stuff did anybody else have anything that they wanted to say in this discussion kind of went into a whole other thing there tangent yeah <laughs> um uh, guys we got about twenty thousand y'all watch right now between rumble and youtube so real quick do me a favor um like the video if you haven't already on youtube and then um also uh open up a tab and watch us on youtube as well and I'm going to go ahead and go 50 and up from uh, from here forward because 